It's the first week of hearings in the legislative budget, and the first topic on the agenda is transportation. Our New York State Capitol correspondent Elise Klein breaks down the highlights of the hearings and updates us on the progress so far. On the first official day of budget hearings, lawmakers discussed Governor Kathy Hochul's state budget proposals on transportation, targeting investments towards New York's roads, bridges, airports, rail facilities, transit systems, and ports. Some lawmakers feel New York's roads and bridges funded through the Consolidated Highway Improvement Program, or CHIPS, should be a priority in the legislature during these budget talks. And our local roads and bridges through the CHIPS program is the lifeblood of our upstate transportation network and we need to make sure that we're providing resources to take care of you know, for our local municipalities. Governor's budget proposes maintaining funding for CHIPS at $577.8 million, the same level as last year. Funding also remained the same for highway aid and local bridge and road repair programs, including Pave Our Potholes program at $100 million, Pave New York at $150 million, and Bridge New York at $200 million. David Miller from the New York State Association of Town Superintendents of Highways says the price of construction materials has increased 25 percent over the past two years, and they need more funding. There's just not enough, and uh, we don't want to get in a situation where these bridges start failing. we got to shut them down and detour people around. 87% um, of those roads out there are locally owned um, by villages and towns and um, counties, and for us to keep up with 87%, we need a little bigger piece of the pie. And without an increase in funding, Kevin Rooney from the New York State County Highway Superintendents Association says there could be consequences for local road and bridge repair programs. If we don't have some more funding, we're going to cut our programs, every one of us. Um, these are the local programs, so the towns, the counties, the villages. We we'll all have to do something and work a little harder to try to get our work done. In Albany, Elise Klein, WNY News Now.